டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலியம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் விண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகெயின் இந்த சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாம் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் திஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் த டாபிக் இஸ் லேமினார் ஃப்ளோ இன் ஃப்ளூட் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஸோ வில் டேக் ஃபியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி லேமினார் ஃப்ளோ தி ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் டூ தௌசண்ட் செவன்டீன் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் தெர் ஆர் டூ ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஒன் In flow through pipeline, the nature of the fluid flow depends on the velocity of the fluid. Statement 2. Reynolds number of the flow depends on velocity, the diameter of the pipe and kinematic viscosity of the fluid. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So, the, among the four uh, answers, the correct answer is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true. But the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. So, the flow, fluid through, in flow through pipe, The nature of the flow depends on the velocity of the fluid and Reynolds number depends on the velocity, diameter and the kinematic viscosity of the fluid. Both the statements are correct. The next question from 2019 question paper. An oil of viscosity 8 poys flows between two parallel plate, fixed plates which are kept at a distance of 30 mm apart. If the drop in pressure for a length of 1 meter is 0.3 in 10 power 4 newtons per meter square, and the width of the plate is 500 mm the rate of oil flow between the plate will be we have four options here so we calculate the average velocity v equal to 1 by 12 mu do p by do x t square which is equal to 1 by 12 into 0.8 so 8 pi is equal to 0.8 newton second per meter square do p by do x equal to minus do p by do x equal to 0.3 in 10 power 4 and the t square the thickness the gap between these two is 30 mm 0.03 square equal to 0.281 meters per second and the discharge equal to area into velocity so it's a 0.5 into 0.03 into 0.281 so the area is the width of the plate and the thickness the gap so 0.5 into 0.03 into 0.281 equal to 4.22 in 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second so 4.2 to the power minus 3 meter cube so option a is the correct answer The next question from 2020 question paper which are the following applications regarding navier stokes equation are correct so navier stokes equation there are four options here laminar unidirectional flow between stationary parallel plates laminar unidirectional flow between parallel plates having no relative motion laminar flow in the circular pipe laminar flow between concentric rotating cylinder so which of the four options are correct option a the statement 1 2 3 are correct regarding navier stokes equation navier stokes equation is not applicable for concentric rotating cylinder the next question from 2020 question paper a crude oil having a specific gravity of 0.9 flows through a pipe of diameter 0.15 meter at a rate of 8 lps 8 liters per second if the value of mu viscosity dynamic viscosity 0.3 newton second meter square the reynolds number will be nearly we have to calculate the reynolds number so first we calculate the velocity velocity equal to discharge divided by the area discharge is 8 lps 8 liters per second 8 divided by 1000 to convert into meter cube per second so liters per second divided by 1000 equal to meter cube per second into area is pi by 4 d square pi by 4 into equal 0.15 square equal to 0.45 meters per second the reynolds number equal to rho v d divided by mu so density velocity diameter divided by the viscosity so 900 into 0.45 into 0.15 divided by 0.3 equal to 202.5 so renal number equal to nearest value is 205 is the correct answer the next question from 2017 question paper in a steady laminar flow of a given in a steady laminar flow of given discharge through a circular pipe of diameter d the head loss is proportional to due to the power minus 2 due to the power minus 1 due to the power minus 3 due to the power minus 4 the correct answer we calculate the head loss due to friction is given by hf equal to fl v square by 2 gd so the d di- di- diameter is din- in the denominator so it is proportional to due to the power minus 1 head loss is directly proportional to the due to the power minus 1 the next question from 2020 question paper a fluid of mass density 1790 kg per meter cube and viscosity 2.1 newton second per meter square flows at a velocity of 3 meters per second in a 6 cm diameter pipe the head loss over the length is 12 meter 
12 meter over a length of 12 meter pipe will be nearly we have to calculate the head loss the four options are given the correct answer is 38.5 meter the head loss equal to 38.5 meter we will see how in the next slide the Reynolds number rho v d by mu equal to 1790 into 3 into 0 0.06 divided by 2.1 equal to 153.4 friction factor f equal to 64 by Reynolds number 64 divided by 153.4 equal to 0 0.42 the head loss due to friction HF equal to FL V square by 2 GD. Substituting 0 0.42 12 into 10 per uh, 12 into 3 square velocity square divided by 2 into 9.81. The diameter 0 0.06 equal to 38.5 meter. The head loss due to friction equal to 38.5 meter. That is the correct answer. The next question from 2017 question paper. An oil flow through a pipe at a velocity of 1 meters per second. The pipe is 45 millimeter long and has a 150 millimeter diameter. What is the head loss due to friction? If rho equal to 869 kilogram per meter cube and mu equal to 0 0.0814 kilogram per meter second. So the correct answer here for among the four option is head loss due to friction 0 0.61 meter. So once again, we will see the answer in the next slide. So the answer to the question, Reynolds number RE equal to rho u d divided by mu 869 into 1 into 0.15 divided by 0 0.0814 equal to 1601. The friction factor F equal to 64 by Reynolds number 64 divided by 1601 equal to 0 0.04. Then head loss due to friction F equal to FL V square by 2 GD which is 0 0.04 into 45 into 1 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.15 equal to 0 0.61. HF equal to 0, 0 0.61 meters. Next question from 2029 question paper, a fluid of viscosity 0 0.7 Newton second by meter square and specific gravity 1.3 is flowing through a circular pipe of diameter 100 millimeter. The maximum shear stress at the pipe wall is given as 196.2 Newton per meter square. What is the pressure gradient for the flow? We have four options here. So we calculate the shear stress tau equal to minus dp by dx into r by 2. So dp by dx equal to minus 2 times of tau divided by r. So, minus 2 into 196.2 divided by 0 0.05 equal to minus 7848 newtons per meter square per meter length. So, the answer is option B, minus 7848 newtons, newtons per meter square per meter length of the pipe. The next question from 2022 question paper, an oil of viscosity 10 poise flows between two parallel fixed plates which are kept at a distance of 50 millimeter apart. What is the rate of the flow of oil between the plate if the pressure drop is pressure drop in the length 1.2 meter b 0 0.3 newtons per centimeter square and width of the plate is 200 millimeter. So the calculate the answer discharge q equal to minus 1 by 12 mu into dp by dx in t square into area. So 1 by 12 into mu equal to 1 mu equal to the, the viscosity, viscosity is 10 pi is equal to 1 Newton second by meter square into dp minus dp by dx pressure gradient equal minus 0 0.3 Newtons per centimeter square. So, so 0.3 into 10 power 4 to convert into meter square divided by 1.2. So, divided by 1.2. Then into t square 0 0.5 square into area equal to 0 0.2 into 0 0.05 which is 5.2 10 power minus 3 meter cube per second which is 5.2 liters per second. So, the answer is option D, 5.2 liters per second. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to the book Fluid Mechanics and Machines for the theoretical knowledge of the laminar flow and you can subscribe the YouTube channel for the video lectures of all the subjects for your learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution to the UPSC engineering, UPSC engineering service exam questions in the fluid mechanics. Until then, bye.